guys, welcome back to another beer review. Uh, Trillium beer tonight, yes. <laughs> uh, this is Metal. Double IPA from Trillium Brewing in Boston, Massachusetts. 8.4% alcohol by volume. This beer comes courtesy of my, my buddy Frank. We did a beer uh, trade. And this was one of the beers that he sent. He also sent Uppercase, which we reviewed last week, and that beer blew my freaking mind. I loved that beer so much. Um, Metal is, this was their, this was Trillium's first anniversary double IPA they brewed for their party, I think. Um, so the first time they released it was March of last year, and then they just did another release in October. So, um, like the last bottle, there is like a stamp on here, but it's smudged. I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but you can't see the date of this, but, um, it was October of last month. So we're within a month fresh still, so. Um, I believe this is brewed with Citra, Galaxy, and Columbus hops. So, really, really excited. I love Trillium beers. Trillium, Treehouse, I mean, they are just killing it for New England IPAs. Probably, it's, they are my two favorite breweries right now. So, uh, yeah, really, 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 really looking forward to this one. Um, don't know a whole lot about this one ratings-wise. I haven't seen a lot of people check it in. Um, like I said, it was released last year in March and then again last month. So I don't know. I guess my untapped friends, not a lot of people got their hands. I don't know if they didn't get their hands on this or what. Dang it. Oh, that bright label's not gonna... <laughs> not even to try it. Hopefully you guys can see that. So yeah. Um, this actually isn't as hazy as most of the Trillium beers I've had. Um, there might be just a tiny bit of chill haze on there, but I can see my finger through the glass. So it's not that crazy like haze for days trillium look that you've or that we've um grown accustomed to but a uh, solid fluffy white uh finger of bright white head on that when we poured it um eight percent or eight point four percent there's some alcohol lakes going down the sides of the glass and there's some glass lacing already so it looks absolutely killer that, that tangerine kind of um like deep orange color looks awesome so let's go ahead and stick our nose in it yeah, this is just citrus for days. It's oranges, like right. This reminds me of Julius a little bit. There's just so much orange and like candied, like sweet tangerines. The citrus is nuts in the nose of this. Yeah, it's oranges, it's tangerines, it's sweet candy tangerines. Um, there's that awesome like herbaceous note underneath that. I think that's coming from the citrus hops. Oh. <laughs> That was awesome. Um, yeah, it's just like crazy, crazy, like citrus and orange and tangerines and like basil. I got like way excited right there. I want to like shove my entire nose in that. It's nuts. But yeah, it smells absolutely killer. There's no, like, I've been saying this too with all the um, beers I've been drinking. There's, an, again, this is just like a fruit, like citrus fruit juice bomb. There's no, like, there's not... There's no kind of like, there's no sweet maltiness in this. It's just like citrus, orange, tangerines, like green hot matter. Wow, it smells great. Should I shove my entire face in it and just like stick my whole nose in it? <laughs> Typically I'd like edit that, but you know what? Who cares? That's what happens when you, when you get into smelling your beers. We haven't drank anything tonight, I swear. So yeah, let's go and check this out. It smells killer, Frank. Thank you, sir. Cheers. I love the sound of RBI baseball, by the way. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. The taste is not as like crazy as the aroma um, on this beer. You're definitely getting that citrus right up front. The oranges, the tangerines, like that sweet candied kind of tangerine thing. Um, super soft, like mouthfeel, which is typical for Trillium. Um, there's that herbaceous um, note, like middle of the mouth. There's a little bit of bitterness. I don't know what the IBUs are in this. Um, but finish is sweet. like It's like tropical fruity, kind of peachy pineapple-y on the finish. Super easy drinking for 8.4%. Wow. Yeah, it's just not, 
Like the nose is so crazy and like poppy. Um, and it's delicious, really, really good, but it's not, it's, when you smell that, I mean, you can see I stuck my entire nose in it and got foam in my nostrils. Um, the taste isn't as like pungent or, uh, I, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. I really don't. Ryerson says it like poppy. I don't know if poppy is the right word. Like it's not popping. Like <laughs> there's a, a disgusting joke in there somewhere. I'm sure. Really good though. I mean, near eight and a half percent. You don't smell booze. You don't taste booze. Crazy balanced. Mouth feels medium, medium plus. Not quite to like the creamy, like treehouse mouthfeel. Um, but yeah, the orange, the candied like tangerine, the sweet tangerines, the tropical fruits, the herbaceous note. This is a killer beer. Um, it's for me with uppercase fresh in my mind, it's nowhere near that, but it doesn't make it bad by any means. Yeah, nice little pop of bitterness. Finish is sweet with the tropical fruits. Um, killer stuff from Trillium. It's just, it's not blowing my mind, which not every beer from a, a, a certain brewery is going to blow your mind. It's just not. Um, I'm trying to think of a grade for this one. This is an A beer for me. I just don't know where. I think I'm going to go 94 with this one. Solid A, awesome stuff. Um, I want to try heavy metal now that I've had metal. I think they just released that. So, yeah, if you guys have had metal, let me know what you think. Cool little first uh, first anniversary beer. I'm glad Trillium brewed this again because I would not have been able to try it otherwise. So, Frank, thanks so much for sending it. Um, like I said, if you've had it, let me know. If you've ever put your nose in a beer and, like, got foam in your nostril, let me know if that happened too. Because you know what? Fuck it. We're not going to edit that out. It, shit happens. <laughs> this, is, this is real stuff. So... Yeah, I'm out of here, guys. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.